those who hope in you be put to shame through me. Lord God of hosts, let not those who seek you be disgraced because of me, O God of Israel. Surely for your sake have I suffered reproach, and shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my own kindred, an alien to my mother's children. Zeal for your house has eaten me up. The scorn of those who scorn you has fallen upon me. But as for me, this is my prayer to you. At the time you have said, O oh Lord, in your great mercy, O oh God, answer me with your unfailing help. Reproach has broken my heart, and it cannot be healed. I looked for sympathy, but there was none for comforters, but I could find no one. They gave me gall to eat, and when I was thirsty, they gave me vinegar to drink. Set fire to your holy place. 
They defiled the dwelling place of your name and raised it to the ground. They said to themselves, let us destroy them all together. They burned down the meeting places of God in the land. There are no signs for us to see. There is no prophet left. There is not one among us who knows how long. How long, O oh God, will the adversary scoff? Will the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you draw back your hand? Why is your right hand hidden in your bosom? Yet God is my king from ancient times, victorious in the midst of the earth. You divided the sea by your might, and shattered the heads of the dragons upon the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan, and gave him to the people of the desert for food. You split open spring and torrent, you dried up ever-flowing rivers. Yours is the day, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Remember, O oh Lord, how the enemy scoffed, how a foolish people despised your name. Do not hand over the life of your dove to wild beasts. Never forget the lives of your poor. Look upon your covenant. The dark places of the earth are haunts of violence. Let not the oppressed turn away ashamed. Let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, maintain your cause. Remember how fools revile you all day long. Forget not the clamor of your adversaries, the unending tumult of those who rise up against you. A reading from the Lamentations of Jeremiah the Prophet. Aleph, how solitary lies the city, once so full of people. How like a widow she has become, she that was great among the nations, she that was queen among the cities, has now become a vassal. Bet, she weeps bitterly in the night, Tears run down her cheeks. Among all her lovers, she has none to comfort her. All become her enemies. Gimel. Judah has gone into the misery of exile and of hard servitude. She dwells now among the nations, but finds no resting place. All her pursuers overtook her in the midst of her anguish. Dalit, the roads to Zion mourn because none come to the solemn feasts. All her gates are desolate. Her priests groan and sigh. Her virgins are afflicted and she is in bitterness. Heh, 
Her adversaries have become her masters. Her enemies prosper because the Lord has punished her for the multitude of her rebellions. Her children are gone, driven away as captives by the enemy. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. From daughter Zion, all her majesty has departed. Her princes have become like stags that can find no pasture, and that run without strength before the hunter. Zion. Jerusalem remembers in the days of her affliction and bitterness all the precious things that were hers from days of old. When her people fell into the hand of the foe, and there was none to help her, the adversary saw her and mocked at her downfall. Heth Jerusalem has sinned greatly. Therefore she has become a thing unclean. All who honored her despise her for they have seen her nakedness. And now she sighs and turns her face away. Teth. Uncleanness clung to her skirts. She took no thought of her doom. Therefore her fall is terrible. She has no comforter. O Lord, behold my affliction, for the enemy has triumphed. 
Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God. The adversary has stretched out his hand to seize all her precious things. She has seen the Gentiles invade her sanctuary, those whom you had forbidden to enter your congregation. Calf. All her people groan as they search for bread. They sell their own children for food to revive their strength. Behold, O Lord, and consider, for I am now beneath contempt. Lamet. Is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? Behold and see if there is any sorrow like my sorrow, which was brought upon me, which the Lord inflicted on the day of his burning anger. Meme. From on high he sent fire. Into my bones it descended. He spread a net for my feet and turned me back. He has left me desolate and faint all the day long. Noon. My transgressions were bound into a yoke. By his hand they were fastened together. Their yoke is upon my neck. He has caused my strength to fail. The Lord has delivered me into their hands, against whom I am not able to stand up. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, return to the Lord your God.
praise God in his holy temple, praise him in the firmament of his power, praise him for his mighty acts, praise him for his excellent greatness, praise him with the blast of the ram's horn, praise him with lyre and harp, praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and pipe, praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with loud laying cymbals, let everything that has breath praise the Lord.
Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners and to suffer death upon the cross.